Get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over. Like, oh god, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic Windows start menu extracted file in an XML format and deploy it through Intune. First thing we need to do is actually create a start menu that we want to use in a Windows 10 device so we can start by getting rid of some of the things we don't want move the start menu around what you keep on there obviously is whatever you think you're going to need I'm just going to create a pretty basic one to to show you how to do it. Just so it's not default. can also make these a different size once we've got something on there we need then need to open PowerShell as an administrator Once in PowerShell, we need to enter the correct commands. Export. Start layout. Path. And it's an XML file we're exporting. Once we've done exported that, we can go in and check that it is actually there. We can look what's in there. That gives you all the all the information. This can then be added later on, and extra ones added or removed if you if you need to do that. So what we then need to do is go to our management console. and we will be going to devices configuration profiles and create a new profile and it will be Windows 10 or later and it will be templates and it will be device restrictions once we're there we can click create and we give it a name We don't need to give it a description. Next, our configuration setting will be start, and we need to upload the XML file we just created into there. This actually will check for you to, to check the XML is the correct format. It will not let you save this policy, this profile if it isn't. Once we've done that, we can do assignments on who you want to deploy it to. Applicability rules, we will do it for the sake of this video to all editions of Windows 10 and 11. We review our profile before we create. And what we'll do is the same as I do on most applications. I will create a new group.
for required and I will create a new group for uninstall clearly on this one we can't have an available because it has to deploy in the background rather than the user doing it themselves once we've done that we can go back to our profile into our start menu assignments add groups deploy it to that group and then it would just be a case of adding devices into that group and allowing this profile to then deploy to those devices and that's all there is to setting a start this basic start menu off in Intune. Thanks for watching. Say some shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt?